This is our initial experience using the MyLoop lens fragmentation device. Here we take a look at it under the microscope and it's a fairly simple device. This is the handle and that green slide controls the position of the MyLoop. Here the loop is fully expanded and there it's when it when that green slide is pulled toward the surgeon the my loop is retracted in, into a small circle when the green slide is pushed away from the surgeon then the loop is fully expanded this demonstrates two of our first cases using the my loop this is a femtosecond capsulotomy when we perform our initial hydro dissection there's some air that goes underneath the lens we remove it using viscoelastic and then we introduce the my loop in a horizontal fashion and then rotate it so the loop becomes vertical goes past the midline and then we constrict the loop and bisect the lens there's a generous amount of viscoelastic in the anterior chamber to protect the cornea we rotate the lens and then try to break the lens into quadrants we find that as we re-expand the loop the lens rotates slightly clockwise we perform the same maneuver going past the midline and then rotating back to the midline and then closing the my loop this is our second case again a femtosecond capsulotomy Hydro dissection using a Chang cannula. Introduce the my loop horizontally, then rotate it vertically. Go beyond the midline, come back to the midline, close the loop, bisecting the lens. Viscoelastic is placed to stabilize the anterior chamber. We rotate the lens more than 90 degrees anticipating that the lens will rotate slightly clockwise which it just did and then we bisect the lens a second time into four quadrants you can see when we introduce the phaco emulsification tip that we do not need to create a groove we have four exact and clean pieces or quadrants that can be emulsified. So the my loop is a very safe tool to break up a firm nucleus. I don't think it will gain much traction on routine cataract surgery, but I think it will have great utility on the very dense brown and black cataracts that are very difficult to fake emulsify alone and which have a greater risk of intraoperative complications. Thank you for your time and attention.